May housing report, five metrics, five minutes. Let's go. All right, median sales price up 812,500. That is up from 799. We are up now 8% this year alone. 8% this year alone. That million dollar home is now a million 80. All right. There's nothing indicating that that's going to come back down. There is no housing crash coming. It never materialized. We've been laying out for you for the past year of why it was not going to happen. But let's go through some of the metrics. Let's take a look and see why I am saying this. All right. So from the beginning of COVID at seven, or sorry, at uh, 589, 900, up to 855, that was about a 30% gain. We gave back about 12, 13, 14% down to 750 from May of last year to November of last year. This was the bottom of the market. From here, we've come up 8%. We have about four, five, maybe 6% left till we're back at that 850 purchase price. And then from there, when interest rates come down, we are set to have that skyrocket another 5, 10, 15% through the summer and into the early fall. There is nothing indicating, those of you that are still waiting for a housing crash, you're waiting for pricing to come down, you're waiting for whatever, you're gonna be holding the bag with nothing in it, guys. That's the reality of this. So let's go through some of the metrics. All right, active listings. This is the biggest one right here. We have had uh, 2,845 total active units in all of San Diego County, including mobile homes and manufactured homes. In reality, we had just over 2,000 with condos, townhomes, twin homes, single family homes. Next to nothing available, right? This is the scarier number, new listings for the month of April. We barely topped over 2,100 active listings as soon as the spinny crunching numbers wheel of death here continues to do its job. April is the heart of the listing season. This is where we always see a huge increase in the number of listings. We tick down from 2553 to 2165. We've never seen anything like this, especially in the month of April, guys. There's nothing indicating that this number is going to explode back up. Here's the scary number, uh, 2165. How many of those were went pending, accepted an offer? 2113. The 52-unit difference between coming on and going off the market. Right? This is pure supply and demand, guys. This is driving the pricing up. This is what we've seen with 8% so far this year over four full months. You want to know the scary thing? Check this one out right here. Sales to list price ratio. List it for a dollar, sell it for a dollar. That's 100%. All right? We are currently, we were at the bottom in, in December at 96.6. We're currently at 100%. Here's the scary thing for you. Remember I rewound this and I said we are 4 or 5%, 6% away from going from 812500 back to 850 if we look at the median sales price for the month of may this is eight seven full days through so through the first week of may it's already back at 850 that's the reality of the market guys there's nothing available right now interest rates today currently in the low to mid sixes they're ugly they're ugly All right as soon as those interest rates come back down into the fives Buyers are going to come out of the woodworks and engage this market. We're going to more than likely see a very large explosion in purchase price again. All right, we talked about the May 10th date being the big day for CPI report coming out, still coming out on Wednesday, that we would see the tipping point for inflation coming down, interest rates fall inflation. We probably are going to need to push that back a month. Two things happened. Number one, we had the spike in oil pricing in the middle of April when OPEC basically decided that they were not going to fulfill the uh, strategic oil reserve or whatever that was. Um, and then the second thing is the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they downgraded by a tenth of a percent the inflation from 2022. So we had those two headwinds. The tipping point, we are absolutely moving in the right direction for May. Probably going to go back to June before we really start to see those numbers tumble. When the inflation numbers tumble, interest rates will come with it. When it does, all the buyers are coming out. So if you're wanting the best potential pricing for a home, that's today. Homes today are going to be more expensive tomorrow. They're going to be more expensive next week. They're going to be more expensive next month. I have strategies to help counterbalance not only the pricing, but the interest rate, guys. So that's where we're currently at. Hope you guys got something out of this. Hit me up. I would love to chat more with you about it. Take care.